What's up, cats? I'm Electro Jazzy, aka EJ. Today we're picking up episode 10, I do believe, of Pokemon Advance Adventure Nuzlocke series here in Electro Jazz Cat channel. Last episode, we found the best Tyrant Pokemon, and we failed to catch it. And it also took one of our own, but that's okay. Oh, uh, we did take on the gym. The gym was easy. Easy peasy. So now we have six gym badges, and I only need two more. So we're gonna keep continuing to the left. Left. And um, get ourselves a new encounter, possibly. And we've got some more stories to say. Now, which one do you want to hear about first? The guy with the editing thing, or about Lathan? If only this was in real time. Okay. Um... Okay, let's talk about Lathan, because that's more fresh in my mind. That was a more recent thing that happened. You really protected me, you stinking toilet. I used to hate you, but now I kind of like you. Sorry, Soda. I know we had a pack, but... Alright, so... Oh, my... I don't want to battle you, dude. Leave me alone, bro. Alright, so... I'm a card attendant, okay? That's my main job. That's what I like doing. But at Target, they call it front of store. Now, they wanted to show me how to run, you know, the service desk, so that way, if I need to hop on for backup, I could do so, right? And I'm totally fine with that. I have the knowledge to do a return, or if somebody has an in-store pickup, great. Totally fine by me. What I don't like is being scheduled for the service desk, because then I'm not pushing carts. You might run into more scenarios where, like, Okay, so I got this item, and it's something this, and it's something that, and it's like nervous and whatever. Like I, I, I don't, I don't like dealing with that kind of stress personally. You know, that's why I just like pushing carts because I can know I'll never mess it up. I will take a Kabuto. That's dope. Let's catch it with the Pokeballs that we don't have. Come on, bro. Come on, sis. Come on, them. Come on. Fossil! Are you just gonna keep blaring me? Try being nice. I don't want to toxic it. It's gonna die before it gets caught. No! It still doesn't get caught. Shook three times. Dude. How are you guys doing? Good? Oh, nice. Kabuto, the shellfish Pokemon. A Pokemon that was regenerated from a fossil found in what was once in the ocean floor long ago. What do you call a Kabuto that could become a Kabutops? You know, I, I screamed when I thought I was going to kill it and it hurt my lungs, so I'm going to call you Lungs. Bet you've never seen a Pokemon nickname that. Yeah. We got Lungs, dude. Okay, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, that's right, Lathan. The guy who should be fired. In case I haven't mentioned this before in a YouTube series, I did mention it on a Twitch stream. By the way, we do stream over uh, forward slash Twitch Electric Jazz Cat. Whatever, it's in the description. Go click on it, go check me out. Or don't. Um, essentially, there was a time I was training another associate to be a card attendant, and then he comes up and he was like, Oh, she knew, and he's like, yeah, just just watch out for the bosses, the managers, you know, but you can just F around and do what you want. And he even approached me, one, and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, that, that's up for you to decide. Don't listen to him. He even approached me one time because I was listening to music just with my phone speaker because I forgot my headphones and technically we're not supposed to wear headphones. I think if you wear one Bluetooth, it's all right, you know, but I just had my phone speaker on. Not blaring loud, but just something, and it was towards the end of my shift when it was already dark out and most people are gone, you know. And he was like, he's like, EJ, you listen to music? And I said, yeah. And he goes, oh, so you are normal. I'm like, okay, so I am normal, alright. And in the beginning, Lathan kind of like didn't like me because I would respond to calls right away to help people out. Essentially do my job, right? And he's like, do you ever take breaks? And I'm like, yeah, you know, 15 and a lunch and another 15. He goes, no, 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 not those schedule breaks. And then I only know this term because somebody else used to tell me this when I worked as a card attendant at Meyer. And I said, oh, you mean a sit down? And he goes, yeah, sit down. 
where you, you sit down for a bit, right? Now at this particular target, you can actually do that because it's not that busy. As we get closer to the holiday season, it will get busier. But especially since I know how to use the machine and these other card attendants don't, except for Landon, who just got newly hired. That's different from Lathan. Landon and Lathan, two different guys, okay? One's black, one's white. One Super Saiyan 3, one some black <laughs> Ah! Um... Lathan has been reported for doing inappropriate things while on the clock with his girlfriend. Managers have said, okay, we'll talk to him, and he's still here. There was even one point where Lathan quit because he didn't want to put up with it and also balance it with school, and they begged him to come back because this was before I was there and they needed a card attendant. And they said, we'll even increase your pay by $1 per hour. That's not fair. What the heck? That means he's making more than me. Not to mention, if you work at Target, your starting pay is like $15 or $15.50, something like that. Already a pretty decent amount. Carfish, carfish! Love carfish. So, what I got really triggered about on Sunday, I'm scheduled as a service advocate, which is technically the service desk. But I get there and my boss says, you know, Oh, um, you know, hop on a lane whenever it gets busy for backup, but when it's not busy, just make the registers look nice. Okay, but if you know me, I work really fast, especially when I first clock in. I really want that item. Can I just walk through all cheat code for it, Soda? No? Okay. I work really fast, and then there's nothing to do. And... I just... If I'm standing around in the building, it looks weird, man. If I'm a card attendant, I can go sit in my car for a bit and have a sit down. But I'm still keeping an eye on the parking lot, you know? I'm just having a sit down, as they call it. And so, wow, you're level 40? Crazy. What ended up happening on Sunday is late is scheduled to be a card attendant. And... As a card attendant, ooh, a new encounter. We also are responsible for other things. Look who it is. Look who it is. He's not gonna get caught. All right, let's kill it. I'm joking. Bro, get in the ball. Thank you. Arbok, the Cobra Pokemon. It is rumored that the ferocious warning markings on its belly differ from area to area. Ooh, I wish that was actually true. They could have done that with Spinda. All right, let's name this thing Soda. I'll name it Soda. <sighs> I usually do the trash as one of our things of responsibility to do. I do it around 3 p.m. Sometimes I do it sooner if it's the weekend when it's really busy. It is now 4 p.m. And the trash can that's by the self-checkout, I say on the walkie and I said, Hey, Lathan and Landon, if you guys haven't already started this, the trash is starting to overflow if you could take care of it. No response from them. But I get a response from my boss on the walkie and he goes, you know, thank you for that shout out, EJ. It's like... I'm not trying to be special, I just, I see something and I want it to get taken care of, you know? 10, 20 minutes later, Lathan shows up and he gets the trash by the self-checkout. And I'm thinking, okay, great, he's doing it, right? No, wrong. He only did the one trash can by the self-checkout. So now it gets to be about seven o'clock and Starbucks where they have their trash, we're also responsible for. They said, hey, can we get a trash pickup? We're getting, we're overflowing over here. No response from Lathan, but he shows up with the big trash can that has wheels that you're supposed to, and he picks it up. And I'm thinking, okay, now he's doing the trash. Now it's gonna be taken care of, right? Wrong. He does the little bit at Starbucks and then goes on his break, battle me. I thought this guy was going to be unique. Uh, let's target you. <laughs> target, get it. Ah, all right. 
Then, um, he goes on his lunch break. So it's like 7.30. And I walk behind the service desk to put something away. And I see the trash can back there. It's overflowing. And it's, and it's a big trash can. It's like if, you know, when you go to school and those janitors are like walking by with whatever and stuff and they're pushing their, their trash thing, whatever. It's, it's like that big, okay? And I said to my boss, who happened to be right there at that moment, I said, hey, I don't know if Lathan should do this because it's technically his responsibility or if I should do it because he's on lunch and I see it as something that needs to get done. And my boss goes, whatever you want to do is fine. And I said, okay, then I'm going to do it. He goes, sounds good. I want to do it because I know how to do it. It gives me something to do. And it I feel like I have some form of like OCD or whatever it's called that like can't help it to see something that needs to get done, right? It's just screaming for attention. Clean me out. Like come on. So I go in the back and I grab a jacket because I also checked outside if he had the trash cans outside. Sure enough, he didn't. Surprise, surprise. So I grab a Target coat for when I do go outside, because it's cold out. I get gloves. I go back to get the trash can. Didn't even empty it. Those trash bags that he got from before, from the Starbucks and the self-checkout, were sitting in there. He didn't even then take them out and put them in the baler like you're supposed to. So, wheel it over, taking the trash that he put in there from earlier. Surf doesn't hit me, right? Yeah, no, this is before they... Okay. I think that's in the future generations. And... <sighs> I park the trash can by the doors. And then I wheel the trash can from behind the surface desk towards the big one. I could tell it was already heavy. And there was a lot of stuff. So as it was, I still took things on top of the trash can and just put it into the big one that I wheeled over. Scoop it up, go to take it out, starts tearing a hole, things start falling out. I kid you not, I don't have any props. The bottle falls out, hits the ground, starts spinning. Soda's coming out, spraying all over my legs. Possibly the coat too, but at least that's not my own coat. And I'm like, fuming with anger right now. Why? This next part I'm not gonna say on the video. If you wanna know what's this, why I don't like this person so much, talk to me in a Discord call afterwards, okay? Say, EJ, timestamp 1333, and I'll let you know if I think you can hear this or not, okay? <clears throat> a fellow associate walks over sees this happening to me. Let's just say I, I really don't like this co-worker, okay? Let's put it that way. <clears throat> they come over. They see the stuff falling on me, spraying on me. And what do they do? Wow, stuff spilling on the floor. That sounds like it could be a band name. And I was like, shut up. I so bad wanted to snap at this person. But I'm like, don't do it. Don't do it. You only have to be here four more months and then you can move out. You never have to see this person again. And they're just walking towards me, leaving their post of watching the self checkout to make fun of me. Then they realize, oh, wait, that was probably not good to say. And then they're like, would you like some help? And I said, I don't need to help because you're not wearing gloves, but they still bent down and picked up some of the trash anyway. And then they even said, yeah, that probably wasn't nice what I said, so I felt obligated to help pick up stuff. Yeah, it wasn't nice to say. You see how angry I was? And so I, I just had to flip out back at this person in some way, shape, or form. But I'm mostly angry at Lathan. So I swore, and I was like, you know, this wouldn't happen if Lathan would do his effing job. But I said the actual thing, you know, at work. Because I was so angry. And I usually don't get angry at work. Okay, I usually try not to get angry in general. There might be some things that annoy me in a moment and I, I just rub it off, but I was mad. Because 
what's happening is they're trying to give everybody hours. They're able to now let Lathan start at 4 instead of 1.30 unless it's the weekend. Because they have, they have me or they have other people and stuff now. And it's like, realistically, I should be getting the closing shifts. But now I'm getting stuck with either morning shifts or when they have somebody else for a morning shift, they're putting me on service advocate and they're giving Lathan the night shifts. But my problem with that is he's not doing his job. If you have everything done like I do because I can use the cart machine and get stuff done faster and I do the trash and I check for CRC that something needs to go back and I check for backup and all that stuff, then maybe you could have a sit down sh here and there, sure. But when you're having sit downs and you're having trash that's overflowing and you're literally the only thing that you're doing is carts, then we have a problem. That makes me angry. And so then I went to my boss and I said, do you know what happened when I emptied the trash? He said, no, what happened? And I, and I said what I just told you guys. Spilled out, whole, all this, yada, 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 right? What does he say to me? All right, so then I said, I said, and I'm like, and I'm just saying, I don't, I don't rant a lot, but I'm just saying, this wouldn't have happened if Lathan did his job and did it sooner. What does my boss say? He goes, thank you. What? Thank you? No! Fire Lathan, or talk with him- Another XP share? Or talk with him, or better yet- no, go, go back to the first option. Get rid of Lathan, or put him on service advocate little hoo-hahs, and give me the front of store card attendant. Because I actually enjoy that position, and I know how to do my stuff. All oh, this ranting is killing my lung, but I do not care right now. Because it's got me angry again because I'm reliving that moment even though it happened like three days ago. So what ended up happening is I was supposed to clock out. How the fuck do you get around? I hate this game. Oh, there we go. I was supposed to clock out that day at 9.30. Even though the past days I was starting at 11 and I could get off at 7.30. My one boss who was more upper in that area for that day, he gets off at 7.30. And so I was like, you know what? The second that he's gone and he clocks out for 7.30, I'm gone. I'm clocking out right afterwards. I do not care. I made a tweet. So it even said, can't wait to see this in the next, you know, advanced adventure episode. Well, here you go. This is the episode that it's happening in. Another encounter. Cave of no return. Oh, did you keep this from Fire Red Leaf Green on the Sevi Islands? Who, uh... What are we getting all the mascots? What's going on? First soda, now PC. I'm gonna kill it. All right. Um. There we go. Oh my gosh, we can put PC and his girlfriend together. This is great. You like it, PC? Don't don't lie. You're in the PC for now. PC's PC, but you will be. But we could have had him in sham. We could have had a potato and a dress. Would have rather had that, not gonna lie. No offense, PC. Oh, there he is again. Little guy. Fancy poo. Where was I in the story? Um. Oh, him just saying thank you. So I was like, okay, the second that he clocks out at 7.30, I'm gone. I'm out of here. I look at the schedule for people who need breaks. And the person who was making fun of me when the trash fell out, I noticed they had a break coming up. And so I was like, hey, did you go on your break yet? And they're like, no. And I'm like, all right, I'll cover your last 15. Go ahead. And they're like, okay. Because I'm like, let me at least do that and not be a complete, you know, scumbag. They come back. Now it's 8 o'clock. I kind of settled down realistically. Yeah, I could have pushed it out the last hour and a half and stayed until my assigned time. But I was still pretty angry. And I clock out. Some people were like, oh, would you, are you going to get in trouble? Like, because when I came home, my, my parents were like, you know, did you quit? I said, no, I didn't quit. I just clocked out early. There's a difference. I love Aerodactyl. And we got a freaking Mankey. Whatever, was his name Sanji? One Piece? Plus, here's what happens. 
even if I got some kind of point for clocking out early, they have to talk with me first before they just fire me. They have to have one meeting and say, hey, we noticed this has been happening. What's going on? Blah, 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 blah. If you continue with your work. Then there's a second time and they say, hey, what's going on? This is your second warning. And then if you get to strike three, it's, I'm sorry, we gotta let you go. I've yet to have that first meeting, okay? Because they freaking love me because I do my job. How many times I gotta say that? If for whatever reason they do say something and say, hey, you clocked out an hour and a half early, what happened? I kind of want them to say that. So then if I haven't, if I haven't already told the one boss or he wants to hear it again, I can say, I'll tell you why. Because stuff fell on me because freaking Lathan didn't do his job. Either you fire him or you move, you switch us around so I can be content with doing my car attendant job. That's all I'm saying. So that's what had me riled. There you go. You're welcome. Did you enjoy the story? All right. Well, that's what you get. Now on to, wow, hit my top. Hit my top, top, top. Fun fact, did you know if you want to hit my top and you evolve your uh, your Tyrogue, it has to be the exact same stat and attack and defense. So when I was trying to complete the Pokedex, what I had to do, I think I got a hardy Tyrogue, which for those of you who don't know, that's a neutral nature. And then I Eevee trained it at level 19 to make sure that the attack and defense were exactly the same. Oh, this is a battle. And then I got to hit my top. And I was like, cool. Now, how I did that in Fire Red, I just got lucky. It was like the the first or second Tyrog I evolved that just happened to line up perfectly. And I was like, cool, I got to hit my top. And then when I was trying to do it in X and Y, I'm like, what the heck? I keep getting either Hitmonlee's or Hitmonchan's. And then I look it up and I'm like, hey. Is this literally Mount Moon, but just backwards? Is that what's going on? Lazy programming. Oh, he got the Omni Boost. That's not good. Uh, let's go to Duck. You're part Steel. Come on, Duck. Also, apparently, I misread Soda's comments. You know, when um, I was like, Soda's attacking me. I'm self-defensing. He was like, I'm not trying to attack you. I just love the game and I'm excited. Oh, if that's the case, then okay, it's all good. No harm, no foul, right? All right, um, we're technically at that time, but I really want to get out of this kit. All right, out of the cave. <laughs> All righty, well, I guess that's an episode. And you know what? I usually only record two. They're not back yet. I think I got time to record one more. So we're going to record one more. Um, maybe I'll upload one for Friday, and then these can go for Monday, Friday for next week. We'll see if I have time. Either way, if you cats have enjoyed and let you me have enjoyed, uh, make sure to do so by hitting that like down below, subscribe if you're new, and share with your friends. Either way, I might get out of here, and I'll see you on the next one. This is a zap!